How long will Dragon Ball Spark and Zero last? I asked this question because I truly want people to answer this. I see people saying this game is going to go the Xenoverse 2 route where it's going to get endless DLC. But that's not the same question. That is asking how much money will the game make and will it still make money over time? Xenoverse 2 still makes money via the DLCs and updates. But if you ask any sensible person, is Xenoverse 2 still an active game? Now you're going to get a mixture of different responses. Some people will tell you, nah, that's not an active game. Other people will tell you, yeah, I still see people on, but that's not answering the question of whether it's still active. I think we can agree and say Xenoverse 2 isn't an active game, but people still play it. And that's because the core fandom and the hardcore or whoever actually plays that game every single day are the ones keeping it active. But that's not a large percentage of people. So when I ask the question of how long will Dragon Ball Spark and Zero last, I'm asking how long will it be until it's more of a niche game and there's a smaller group of people keeping the game alive. This typically happens with a lot of games and this isn't a Oh, he hating on Spark and Zero. No, it's just an actual question. This happens with Call of Duty. This happens with fighting games. Eventually, there's less people online. And eventually, you can't find people online unless it's a rare, very rare chance that you find somebody online. There's some things that you have to consider when you answer this question. There are two to three different types of people when it comes to these anime games. There are the casuals, there are the core slash hardcore fans. If you're somebody who's played Dragon Ball, but yeah, you wanna play a new Dragon Ball game, but you're not really into fighting games, you might end up being a core fan, you might play a little bit of the story, you might go online once or twice and then that's it. There are people like that when it comes to anime games. Me, for example, I got Xenoverse 2, I only played the story mode, I played a couple of the parallel quests, fuck online, that's it. I would be considered a Xenoverse casual because I don't actually play that game like that. I can't even recall the last time I booted up Xenoverse 2. And crazy enough, at one point I made a few Xenoverse videos on my old channel. But I bring that up to say that there's going to be those type of people on Sparking Zero. There's going to be the person that boots the game up once in a blue moon. Maybe they might do things for the story mode. Maybe they do a few custom battles, but that's it. They're not going to be the ones playing the game every single day and going crazy on it or playing it multiple times per week. That's just an objective fact that you cannot argue with. No one can disprove what was said because that happens with literally all video games. DLCs, yes, will get some of those people to come back, but ultimately you're not gonna have the same level of people playing the game as they were previously. I can only think of one particular game series where we heard the numbers were if not higher than what they were prior to the game's release, and that was GTA 5. At one point during the pandemic, I think they said the game sold more than it did when the game first released, meaning potentially there were more people online than there were when the game came out, and at that point, it was seven years prior. So I will say this, it's very unlikely that Sparking Zero is going to have that level of success to where over time, more people are going to be on the game and at some point the game is just going to sell way more than it did upon release. Sparking Zero, like a lot of other Dragon Ball games, is going to sell well over time. Over time, this game will get 10 million sales and so on and so forth. But the people that's going to keep this game alive are going to be the core in the hardcore fans who plan on playing this game very frequently. The person who has a 9 to 5, the person who has other things going on in life, or someone who plays other video games more than this aren't going to be the people keeping this game alive. And again, DLC will bring these people back because new attracts new people, but it's not going to be the thing that keeps them engaged 24-7. As far as how long I think this game is going to last, there's one way to look at it. How long do I think it's going to take until the community dwindles down for this game? I give it three months. I think the first week there's going to be a lot of people on, first two weeks a lot of people on, first month it's going to be people on and then it's going to calm down. Two months later it's going to be Christmas, more people are going to get the game for Christmas and there's going to be a mini boom, so it's not going to die down, but after that month plus, again, Roughly three, four months is when we're going to see a chill down. And then we're going to see spikes every time DLC drops and it's going to chill down. 
I do think we're going to see a lot of people on and we're not going to have that issue of ha having an inability to find people. It's going to fluctuate in the beginning and then eventually it's going to stabilize is what I'm saying. I give it roughly about two years because we have to take into consideration we'll have the first season pass we'll probably take until like the middle late of next year then the season pass too which will probably go into like the following year and maybe a third season pass but after that i don't see bandai doing how they did xenoverse 2 for indefinite time i think if they were going to do a game that was going to last for an indefinite amount of time they should have included as many of the original characters plus more as possible making this the ultimate game upon release and then just adding more from like the new shit they get from the series and maybe characters that were never playable just so they have reasons for people to constantly buy this but making it to where you limit the characters just so you can sell them as dlc and people being okay with that i don't know it might be headcanon to me but i think that's just stupid so the easiest way to look at this is is how long will this game last as long as people play on the game but it's not going to have a high amount of people playing after the fluctuations stabilize there's going to be a lower player base and then from there we're going to see fluctuations each time dlc drops eventually there's going to be a new dragon ball game that gets announced and depending on if it's a fighting game or if it's say xenoverse 3 we're going to see it either go down lower or there's going to be fluctuations even lower the point of the matter is is the question isn't a toxic question because it's simply saying how long you guys realistically expect for this community to be booming before it dips down too low and again I give it two years. For all we know Bandai Namco could be orchestrating for there to be a sequel of this game if it sells well. You guys gotta remember one aim for video games is they want to make money but depending on how much it costs to produce DLC it may not be worth doing what Xenoverse 2 did. Now, in terms of how long the game will ultimately be supported for, well, that question, the game could end up being supported for several years. Maybe we might get support for four years and maybe five before the next game comes out. Perhaps next time we see Dragon Ball Sparking Zero 2, it may be 2027 or 2028. Only thing I'm basically saying in this video is, is that from a how long will this game last for the active community is true question then the whole how long will this game be supported for is a completely different question same with how much money will this game make in the long term this may this game could make a lot of money this game could be supported for several years but in terms of how long do i think it will last with the community actively playing it with the casuals everything i don't think it's going to be as long as people think it's going to be that's all i'm saying so if you misunderstood anything in this video just go to the comment section and pose your questions there we can have a discussion there but i already know what the comment section is going to be you think bleach is going to be better what yo